The five-a-day watchdog group Passion Fruits have released new research which indicates five portions of fruit and veg a day will in no way tackle the level of health problems associated with poor diets. The research shows that in fact our bodies require a regrowth of the once thought defunct appendix and ingestion of high levels of cellulose only found in lawn grass, otherwise known as Gracius lactis efferinov. Despite the government's evident concern, our on-the-ground reporter spoke to a representative of one residence group who have no access to grass. Thanks for taking the time to talk to us. Can you tell me what you think the key issues are for your area? Well, I mean, just look around. There's no grass here, there's no lawn, there's no parks nearby. And you know, last weekend, I was sat around having a few beers, come out on the balcony, my mate Jim, he sat up there on that roof licking the moss. Licking the moss. He couldn't get the taste out of his mouth for ages, I tell you. And so, you know, tried to sort it out, got a group of us together, went for a little trip to the Greenbelt, you know, have a bit of a munch. And pff, some conservationists was out there and they're like, you know, can't eat this. Just because they want their patch of green is selfish. So what do you think the government can do to help people like you? What can the government do? They can stop feeding this stuff to animals and put people first. Thanks very much for your time. Now back to the studio. On a positive note, happy news. Food giant KFC will have a grass fillet and grass dippers on the menu within the next few months and drinks manufacturer Pepsi Cola are launching a grass smoothie with bits in next week. This is a special bonus for people with denture issues, unable to bite it off at the roots. Hi everyone, and welcome to the brand spankingly new cooking program, 101 ways to use grass in your kitchen and in your food. Today we're going to make grass fruit salad. I got this fresh from my garden. I have a little patch of grass, homegrown grass. But, um, you know, I would be careful. You do have dog poo sometimes and, and cats and you know you, other things I mean mind you it's all good for you but I would just wash it out a little bit you know put your hands through and all that kind of stuff we're just going to chop up a little bit of grass and remember no matter how much you wash it you might end up with a bit of silt on your grass and that's actually not a problem because it adds to the texture and the taste and of course everything that comes from the earth is good for you, you know. In the, in the Stone Age, this is the sort of stuff we ate, and we were actually very quite healthy. Our bodies were, we could do amazing things back then. We really could chop wood, all that kind of stuff. So I've got my chopped fruit over here, right? And I'm just going to give them a little shake, just so they're all in there, and all the taste and everything is in there. And then I'm going to just sprinkle my grass right on, just like that. Just make sure it's everywhere. You get your wooden spoon and you just give it a little tumble. There you go. Just to make sure it's everywhere. Just to make sure you get it in every morsel of your fruit salad. And here you have it. In five minutes you've got your very own fantastically healthy, deliciously tasting with your tequila at the beach fruit salad. Tuck in.